NISA League Soccer here opening day for this league and we're excited to have all of the action for you here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry, Joe Acosta kickoff moments away between these two NISA League ball clubs in the first ever contest for Gold Star FC Detroit. It's going to be an electric one between the boys in blue and Gold Star FC. This Detroit club, you know, Coach Lubansky so excited to, to kick off here today and feeling great about things. And you can feel that energy speaking with him down on the pitch prior to kickoff. Yeah, for sure. He was very excited for the first game. Uh, they've been with this club like over a year. And being in the first game at Nisa is very, very excited for them. Wolf Clubs warmed up. Ready to go. Our formation here today, a 4-2-3 for Detroit Gold Star, a 4-2-3 for CFC. Players to watch, Roddy Green for Detroit. And of course, for CFC, it's Marcus Nagelstad. Yeah, Marcus, Marcus has a lot of goals last year. He scored 19 goals and seven assists. And I'm pretty sure he's very excited to score more goals these years. And Roddy Green is the first year playing in the Nissa. So we'll see what we can do. Marcus, the golden boot winner for the National Independent Soccer Association last season. Looking to continue his electric performances on the pitch across the United States in another year here for the boys in blue. He set a franchise record for goals in a season with that mark at 19. And you had to be close to that with seven. Yeah, I scored seven goals. We have a way less game too. I think we have uh, 12 games in that season. Uh, seven goals, it was a big good deal and big good for us too. A 24 game slate and it all starts right here today with a rainbow ball up to the far end of the pitch. This one lost inside of the box, headed at and now sent out of play by Detroit Gold Star. The throw in and back to work, Chattanooga through the middle third of the pitch, trying to battle this one down to the offensive end. Back through the center of the middle third. CFC will reset and get back to work. Prepolita with it. Another newcomer to this Chattanooga Football Club squad. One that's added a lot of size. Only two players over six foot on this roster last season. Coach Underwood on ESPN this week said that's something he's very proud of. They've added a lot of height to this roster. Yeah, of course. Soccer nowadays is a lot of fees with a lot of contact. And Chattanooga has been always good on set pieces. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be helpful for them this year too. This one finds its way over the goal line. Barnes will get us underway here. Out of the box, Gold Star along the close touch line, working their way up the pitch near that center stripe. Pressure coming from CFC. Ball is loose momentarily. Keeper Bards comes way at. Perhaps a dangerous situation with Marcus right there. Good turnout here today. Stands are filled up. Fans from all around the scenic city have made their way down into the valley and to Fort Finley to witness today's contest. Barnes outside of the box again. This one up towards the center line. Gold Star into the attacking end. Long feed. This one is gathered up by the netminder who comes out to greet it, Jean Antoine. There's a flash of life for Gold Star. Just a couple of moments into this contest. Pretty good back and forth so far, wouldn't you say? Yeah, so far it's good. Chattanooga seems a little bit nervous for the first game, but I'm pretty sure the time coming up is going to be a little bit more expecting for the Chattanooga Football Club. We spent some time down on the pitch before the game and, of course, listened to all kinds of podcasts all week, did our research, and 
One thing I got the sense of coming into today's contest with these two clubs is neither one of them really knew what to expect. Yeah, the first game of the season, uh, you can't expect much. Uh, you, you have to play the first game to see where we can go from now on. CFC starting this one from the arc. Now up towards the flank, working their way down towards the center line. Long pass into the offensive end. That looks on sides. Taylor Gray loses this as it's sent over the goal line. A lot of heat right there. Couldn't regather possession and get underway. Nagelstad and Gray are both down there inside of the six on the offensive end. This will be our first Chick-fil-A corner kick of the season. Chattanooga Football Club, a good chance here. And the official does not like something down inside. You have the first yellow We've card. We've got a yellow card. I believe that's on Gold Star FC and Cameron Schneider. No, excuse me, that one is on Chattanooga Football Club and Antonoli Prepolita. Now we'll get the corner kick. This one just sent in. Back towards the middle third from the edge of the center circle. The long ball just outside of the six and unable to keep that from crossing over the goal line. It'll go back to Detroit Gold Star. Well, whatever offense Prepolita committed there, Cameron Schneider was arguing with the official. Yeah, it was kind of hard to say who had the yellow card because a lot of people in the box. But it seems like the Chattanooga Football Club has the first yellow card in the game. The throw in from the far touch line right near the center of the field. Schneider heading towards the side of the pitch along with Perez. A battle for it and Gold Star will have the throw in. Down into the attacking end. Gold Star loses this one quickly. CFC trying to clear it out here. Sent back deep into the 18. By DGSFC. Sue walking his way to the close end. CFC trying to penetrate the attacking side in the middle third and a collision down near the close touch line. Gold Star puts us back underway. Not for long as this one comes right back off the edge of the pitch. Last touched by Chattanooga. Vladimir Jokic tosses this one in. Comes out of play off of the leg of Rogova. Jungwoo with a throw and a long one to the attacking end. Nagelstad tries to flip it over his shoulder. This will go out of play. Jungwoo with the throw in, down on the attacking end. Deep into the 18, Nagelstad looking backside. The header into the center and cleared away carefully by the likes of Sissy. Good heads up play by Gold Star right there. Yeah, it's pretty good. The, the defense back line is being, seems like they're solid. It's gonna be a little hard for the CFC forwards pass through this, this back line.
quality chances are at a premium here early. Scoreless in Chattanooga, Tennessee in NISA League play on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Joe Acosta. Chattanooga Football Club wearing the light blue here, working with the ball through the defensive end. In the middle third of the pitch, some trouble there, narrowly lost the ball. Joe has so far not too many quality scoring chances for either club, maybe one for Detroit Gold Star. Yeah, right now at the beginning of the game, most of the teams start trying to study the, the opponent. And, There's uh, a long yeah, ball. This one has ball. a little too much juice on it, sailed high of the net. Yeah, it was a close call right here. Uh, but yeah, the first the first 10, 15 minutes of the game is usually a little bit slower. So players start trying to know each other, uh, knowing the other team, how they play too. But pretty sure after like 20 minutes, it's going to pick up a little bit more. Jungwoo, long feed over the center line. Chattanooga Football Club on sides. Alex McGrath. Dipping this one back and forth. Mwape in the middle third. Chattanooga made it all the way to the Nisa semifinal last season. Fell to the eventual champion, Michigan Stars Football Club. That was a one nothing decision. Prior to that, one of the best seasons, probably the best season since turning pro for Chattanooga Football Club. Yeah, it was a pretty good season. Uh, Chattanooga has a lot of chances with Marcus scoring a lot of goals, and unfortunately they they lost in the semifinal for Michigan Star. That it was the winner of that tournament. Ten minutes gone here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where it's scoreless between Chattanooga Football Club and Detroit Gold Star FC. Gold Star looking to clear this one away. It was deep in the 18 there. Back towards the box, it's loose. Snagglestad trying to chase this down from behind. And the keeper makes a heads up play right there. Brandon Barnes comes way out and falls onto that. Yeah, they can always sleep on the, on the back line. And Marcus is gonna be there no matter what. Detroit Gold Star working to clear this from the defensive end. Perhaps in trouble, McGrath thought he was gonna turn up the pitch with it. Detroit into the attacking end now. One pass. Looking, setting, firing from long range. This one is high. Antoine Jean stands in strong. Antoine puts these clubs back to work. Chattanooga Football Club roping this one into the middle third. Over the center line. Under pressure here from Detroit. Poison Blue walk it to the close side. Wape. Back to Jungwoo. A long feed up the pitch. Deking his way towards the box. Back side looking for Gray and the call there. Detroit Gold Star again pleading their case right here. This time it's number 21 for the team in gold, Alex Delu. A quick kick and we're back underway. 12 minutes has already elapsed between these two Nisa League clubs. Nagelstad. That's McGrath rather with a big steal. And he's taken down near the goal line. Play continues for the moment. McGrath into the box, sends it outside. Chattanooga Football Club looking for an offensive chance here. Two quick fakes. Mwape with the fancy footwork. This one finds its way over the touchline. Palmer right there, as you can see. Along with Garcia Sosa. Pleading his case, the throw in was about to come from Lobsinger and then stopped by the official. Here's the throw in. And another call near the close touch line.
possession going back to Chattanooga Football Club. Jung Woo getting set. McGrath will start play this time. Long feet up the pitch. Wape. Heavily defended, trying to send that inside. Another great defensive play by Lobsinger. Cut him off near the edge of the box, sends that one out of play. It'll remain with Chattanooga Football Club. This is a corner kick. Yeah, it's a good chance for Chattanooga to try to score the first goal right now. And with the wind at their back, it is blowing towards this goal. McGrath takes it. In trouble there, heavily defended. Both teams throwing their hands up as though they just can't believe what's happening. It'll go to Detroit Gold Star. Chattanooga has a pretty big team. They should have put the ball in the box to try something more than just pass in the side. Hail Mary up the pitch right across the center line here. Jung Woo feeling the heat. Dips it away quickly. Prepolita sends it all the way back to Antoine. 14 and a half gone, scoreless, a clean sheet here in the scenic city between CFC and Detroit Gold Star. 11 Sports FIFA Plus, thank you for tuning in for today's contest. Jung Woo heavily defended there by Rogova. Passed it away quickly. Scoreless here, early in this one. Could be a chance up along the far end of the pitch. Near the goal line, pressure coming, and this one will be sent up and into the stands. Yeah, he had a chance to put the ball in the box for Marcus, but right open, he decided to give a break. Chattanooga Football Club, the inbound to Taylor Gray. Collision there. McGrath calling for the penalty as Schneider attempts to clear it out. It sails over the touchline. CFC's players still calling out to the official. They want the call there. Yeah, we can see the official's not going to call every single foul, so we should worry more about playing than the call for the official to put a foul. McGrath put us back underway momentarily. Casey the inbound. Headed at loose along the edge of the box. Both teams vying for possession. Gold Star has it for the moment. Clearing this one down towards the center of the pitch into the middle third. On sides, Detroit on the attacking end with it. Long feed looking for the breakout pass here. And Jung Woo strips this one away. Mwape. It's the ball back for Chattanooga Football Club. They neutralize another threat. CFC has had a few scoring chances. They scored 56 goals last season. Is the pressure early here in this contest any indication of today's turnout to you, John? It can be. It can be. Uh, CFC is still trying to understand the game, the Golden Star game. Uh, I'm pretty sure if they play a little bit more on the side players, they are both uh, very fast players, they're good feed players. If they play more on the side, you're going to have a more chance to put the ball in the box, or maybe one by one and try to finish it, get far to go. Taylor Gray battling for that one, goes out over the edge of the touch line. Detroit Gold Star will keep us moving here in Chattanooga. Still scoreless, 17 minutes gone. Both of these clubs will play 24 regular season games. Both of them will host additional contests as well. The gauntlet, which is something I'll tell you a little bit more about, with Detroit Gold Star and what they're doing in their new home stadium they're building. And of course, Chattanooga will host additional games as well. They're gonna have 20 home matches this season. That's a lot of games for one season. And uh, coming up the heat now is gonna be a lot of games that's gonna be a lot of hot outside. And trust me, I've been on that field and in, in your feet, the turf is, it can be very, very hot on your feet. Chattanooga working with it through the middle third. Not comfortable driving in yet. Back 
underway. Gold Star with the football here. Arcing the ball down over the center line. Collision there and the official right away sounding his whistle. That's Richard Dixon on the ground. From the center circle, Alex McGrath put us back underway. He's working with the ball here. Detroit Gold Star, one of three new clubs added to the NISA this offseason. Club to Lion FC, Orlando, Savannah Clovers FC, they're down in Georgia. And of course, Detroit Gold Star. Here's a chance for Chattanooga Football Club centering and the header goes wide right. The Golden Boot winner looking to send one into the twine right there. Yeah, unfortunately he was offside this time. But you know, Mike's gonna be there, you can see that. 19 and a half gone. In this Nisa opener, we're still scoreless between Chattanooga and Detroit. This one over the touchline, throw in coming for Chattanooga. Taylor Gray to Richard Dixon. Dixon controls it. Through the middle third. Prepolita. Prepolita, one of those guys with a lot of size. Yeah, he is, he's a big guy. I'm glad he's playing for CFC this year. Joe, you were a striker, you were on the attacking end. What does that size mean for you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, uh, on my kind of play, I was more like on the on the side of the field and put more of my speed and uh, trying to contact with the center backs. But of course, every time you have a big center back, you try to be away from them. Taylor Gray was trying to reach the ball first there, a small collision as he rolls over the goal line and out of play. Yeah, this time he did. Gray have a really good season last year. He's a very, very fast player. And I uh, hope we can see this year again. Gold star through the defensive end over the center line. Now into the attacking zone. Trying to pass it inside there. Ball is lost and cleared away by Chattanooga Football Club. Barnes will come way out. Near the middle third there to gather that one. Tied up down near the penalty arc. And here you can see the wind stopping the ball in the air. Yeah, and they're going into the wind. That could definitely play a factor in what we see in the second half. Detroit Gold Star offensively attacking upwind and we have gust as much as 40 miles per hour here this afternoon. Yes, that's the time for Chattanooga Football Club try to get some shots outside the box to maybe get the goalkeeper a hand shorts on the ball. Through the middle third, here comes Chattanooga Football Club. In a bit of trouble here, Mwape able to feed this one up the pitch to McGrath. McGrath to Nagelstad. Goes back to Jungwoo. Gold Star with a nifty takeaway, deking about, showing off the footwork, and now a big collision there. Just off of the flank on the close end of the pitch. Lob Singer going over to check on his teammate. We got another yellow car. Luis Garcia, number 19 of Chattanooga Football Club. Yeah, yeah, Sissy took the big hit there. Number 19, Luis Garcia Sosa, going to be assessed with a yellow card here. 23 minutes gone, scoreless here in the scenic city between Detroit and Chattanooga. Barnes, the keeper, to put us back underway. 
a thunderous kick down to the attacking end for Detroit. Controlled and they go to work. Chattanooga trying to clear this. Nagelstad coming from behind, now deking around Taylor Gray. This one slides over the touchline. Chattanooga FC will throw in. Chattanooga needs to explore more the left side of the game. They're playing way too much on the right side. Roddy Green right there defensively. Ball sent in, cleared down into the attacking end for Chattanooga. Detroit ready to greet it. Gathered it up. Barnes sends it into the middle third. Won't stay there for long. Detroit FC regathers possession with a head of steam. Here comes Gold Star looking for that feed to the right side, the top of your screen there, the back end of the box. CFC able to shut that down defensively. Yeah, you can see Golden Star is coming for the corner attacks. They have very fast players in the up, up, up top, and the Chattanooga is not going to be concerned about that. You need to be careful with that. These players moving quickly here. Delu trying to gather possession, just ran down one of the boys in blue right there. I believe that's Richard Dixon who's still down. He's, still, he's again. Twenty-five minutes gone here in the scenic city. We're scoreless between Chattanooga FC and Detroit Gold Star. Thank you for being with us on Eleven Sports and FIFA Plus. I'm Gabriel Shry here with Joe Acosta. This is a good opportunity for Detroit. It is. You can see every time they have a chance, they're gonna put the ball in the box. Here's the long ball, close end, the header, and what a save by Antoine coming out, extending to his full length, palming the ball and pulling it down. He's a great goalkeeper, man. Really, really good. He knows how to get out of the box when he have to. Already having a big impact here in the home opener for Chattanooga FC. Detroit Gold Star. Looking good, looking sharp here early. Not necessarily a surprise because we didn't know what to expect. But yeah. they're looking great. Yeah, right now, right now is a, is a very competitive game. I mean, we're still waiting for more action. Maybe Taylor now. Gray to the close side, looking for the header. In it's the loose goal. and into the goal. Score! It's 1-0 Chattanooga Football Club. Wapi was in the, in the game or in the ball right now, but I'm, I don't know. Well, let's see the replay. Maybe it's an own goal. How about that one? The first score of the season, Kelvin Matayam Wape. Yeah, what a way to start goal. his career with Chattanooga. It is, Mwape is a really good player. I played with him in South 17 for, in Charlotte Eagles. We won the national championship that year. And he is an amazing player. He's a really good, fast player. He's a, a quick feat. He's gonna give a lot of headache for the defense of the other teams this year. A few scoring chances early in this one for Chattanooga FC. Even two great looks for Detroit Gold Star, but our first goal comes at the 26 minute mark, buried by Mwape. He gets a hold of that, headers it, and it somehow was able to filter its way through traffic and into the netting. Yeah, we're not expecting that. I mean, we talk about how big are the best Chattanooga football club players are, and uh, one of the smallest players in the field scored a header goal today. That's impressive. Well, and you would know about that, using your size and speed as an advantage. As far as speed goes, you know, before the contest, I was told you're the fastest player that's ever played for Chattanooga Football Club. How fast is Mwape? 
Oh, he is fast. <laughs> he is very fast. One nothing. Gold Star looking to respond. They're playing with the wind for the moment. Most of this contest, it's been gusting down towards their goal, much to the advantage of Chattanooga FC. And a yellow card. card here. Number 45. Max Rogova penalized for his play. Chattanooga FC looking for another chance. Gold Star. This one is loose. Taylor Gray sent up top. Nagelstad trying to keep it alive down there in the box as it's being chipped away at by Detroit Gold Star. And now the whistle again. A uh, handball for Marcus. Hard not to get too excited there. Yeah, it's hard. As I say earlier, Chattanooga was not exploring a lot of left side, and the, the goal came from the left side of the game. Chipped at Gold Star up along the touchline, working with it for the moment is Lobsiger. Through the middle third into the attacking end. Looking for that backdoor feed. Duluth thought he had something intercepted by Chattanooga FC. McGrath to Nagelstad. Marcus with a rainbow ball and over the head of the netminder and off the top of the pipe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nobody was expecting that one. Barnes was about 20 yards out of the net. And Nagelstad looking for the long ball nearly hit the home run right there. He hit the crossbar actually. Jung Woo puts us underway. Still with it, finesses this around a trio of Gold Star defenders. Bringing the heat here, McGrath escapes to the corner and Jung Woo, this will roll over the goal line. Could have caught a foul right there. Rugova really bringing the heat here today defensively. He's been very aggressive. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's gonna try to take you away on your physique. It's been a fun time watching him play early here in this contest. This is the first ever contest for Detroit Gold Star FC. They put together a fantastic roster. And so with 31-30 gone here in the first half of play, it's 1-0 Chattanooga Football Club. One thing we've talked a lot about is the schedule of these two ball clubs. Almost all road games for a third of the season for Detroit Gold Star. They don't have a home yet. They're building it right now. Yeah, that's something that can cause a lot of problems for them. I mean, it's a, it's a long travel for them to come out of here, to try it out of here, Chattanooga. And you're going to make the, the players tired. You can make very tired, players very tired. That's a good for Chattanooga Football Club. Let's take advantage of that. Talked to Coach Lubanski a lot about the schedule, and I asked him if he was worried about how many road games Detroit was going to have to play this season. He said he's not worried at all. He knows, he's confident. That time is coming where they'll have their own home venue. They have a home opener on June 24th. Still working on building the stadium right now. They'll have AstroTurf inside of their venue. They've partnered with Madonna University in Detroit to build a pro soccer stadium. Slow to rise, Chattanooga man. Looks like Delu was right there and maybe a small collision with him. He was. And he's still down. Seems like he hurt his back. I believe that's Prepolita. Hopefully he's all right. 
Indeed he is, back onto his own two feet. Anatoly Prepolita puts us back underway. The only thing Coach Lubansky did say bad, did say that was bad about the road schedule is Dr. Allison, his wife might be a little upset with all the road games. I don't blame her, I would be too. Quality chance there for Chattanooga. Detroit Gold Star did get back and had numbers in the box. Started to get dangerous there though as the ball got popped up over and over again. Yeah, had another chance to put the ball in the box. Here comes the Food City corner kick. The wind dies down for a moment. Here's the cross sent to the close side and the whistle before Chattanooga FC can try to make a play off of that. You can see the CFC players close to the goalkeeper, try to make it there, come out of the, a little harder to the, the box. Barnes gets us back underway. Detroit Gold Star clearing this down into the middle third. Header at this will again slick over the goal line. Fans out enjoying the beautiful weather here in the scenic city today. 75 degrees and sunny even though it's very windy. Out of the box, close end of the pitch, Lobsiger. Up along the touch line. Gold Stars, Rugova in trouble there for a moment. Antoine comes way out to gather this one. There's just something about the swagger that Gene Antoine has, the way he carries himself and gathers up the ball. Yeah. Joe, you've been playing soccer for so long and at such a high level. Who's the toughest netminder you remember playing against in your career? Uh, I think it's Chattanooga. When I played for Chattanooga Football Club, uh, Detroit City, it was one of the tough teams to, to play with, uh, especially when they play away at their home. They have a really good fan base like the Chattanooga Football Club has. And uh, definitely that team is going to be on the tough ones. So another Food City corner kick for Chattanooga Football Club. McGrath will be the one to send this one in. Wind has died down momentarily. He's just gonna touch this one in along the edge of play. Trying Ooh. to center it up, he hit the referee. The official inside of the box struck in the back. So it'll go back to Gold Star. It's supposed to be a Chattanooga ball. Nagelstad and Taylor Gray are saying that to the official. Delu obviously saying otherwise. You can see them arguing it out here. The official was not even looking to the ball at the time. Delu is not happy about it, calling his teammates over. McGrath is trying to vie for better position here. The official going to send back the Gold Star athletes. McGrath puts us back underway. Chattanooga Football Club. In the attacking end, Taylor Gray loses this one. Good play defensively. The Lou came up, greeted him. Chattanooga will just have to reset. Prepolita. Look to Jung Woo, then sent it to Dixon. Anatoly Prepolita standing back outside of the center circle. Chattanooga, the close end, it's Jungwoo. Long feed there. I think he was looking to hook up just shy of the box and rolled on him. Yeah, he missed the pass, but it would be a good idea. 
Barnes clears this into the middle third. Chattanooga comes out, greets it immediately. Mwape. Deking about with this one, it's Dixon. Thirty-eight minutes has elapsed already here in the scenic city. It's one nothing Chattanooga Football Club. There's a long pass up the pitch and taken away by Barnes. Taylor Gray had a head of steam and thought he was going to get a chance. Yeah, Chattanooga has a very fast players in the front. They have to try those balls over the back line a little bit more. Lob Sigger gets around one. Jung Woo with the takeaway. That was a bad pass in the middle. Good looking intercept by Detroit. Back end near the touchline. Chattanooga again takes it away. They'll send this back to Antoine and reset. one nothing the tally. Thank you for being with us on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Joe Acosta. Nearly through this first half of play here in Chattanooga. What do you think of Gold Star FC so far? It seems like they're a little nervous. I mean, I won't be surprised. It's their first game ever, and they play against a big club. But from now on, we'll see what, we, what they can do right now. Wape with a Food City corner kick. Chattanooga Football Club with another scoring chance here. 40 minutes gone in this first half. Wape touches it over to McGrath. McGrath. Finessed inside. This could be a scoring chance. Back door, Taylor Gray. It's 2 0 Chattanooga Football Club. As they cut offside. No go. They'll wave it off, and the fans obviously going to be upset when they realize the call has been made. Well, he was in position just. Too far forward there. Yeah, it was a, just a little bit. I think it was the last pass. He was a little bit in front of the defense. Nagelstad tried to go back to Gray right there. Came off of the calf of a Gold Star defender to the close end. This one finessed by Rugova. Up the pitch. Down to Sissy. And the fans protesting there as Jungwoo goes down hard on the close flank. We need a cover from Jungwoo. You know, you mentioned earlier the traveling distance was going to be a big advantage for Chattanooga. It will be. It can be very helpful. 565 miles, 909 kilometers. Via the quickest route, it's about an 8-hour and 45-minute drive. And the flight is no cakewalk, even though you can fly directly from Detroit to Chattanooga. It's about a 95-minute flight from gate to gate. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you go with car, bus, flight. Is, you're going to get tired no matter what. Skying up the pitch, Barnes comes out to greet this. I'm sure we'll have at least a little bit of extra time here, but just three minutes left in this first half. It should have given one, two minutes max. I don't believe it's going to be more than that. Back and forth, go Gold Star and CFC. Boys in blue at the football. From beyond the center line, trying to sky this one up the pitch. Regathered by Chattanooga. Taylor Gray looks both ways. This one loose near the touch line. He's able to keep it in play. Centered up through the center circle all the way back through the middle of the field. Anatoly through the middle third. Chattanooga taking their time getting something working here. 
Yeah, it's almost over the half, first half. Chattanooga just has managed the game now and uh, wait for the halftime. 1-0 our score here in Chattanooga. Boys in blue with a header goal from Wape back at the 26 minute mark. Nearly scored a second and Gray was just a touch off sides. Gray had a good feed there, couldn't get a beat on it. Gold star. Close end, Rugova. Looking for help inside. Walks up to close flank, into the box. Jungwoo down. Two defenders there. This one rolls over the goal line. Rugova calling for a penalty. He won't get it. Final minute of regulation here in the first half. Chattanooga. On the defensive end of the pitch. Seems like they're going to give it two minutes extra time. Wape looking inside the header, and this one is wide right. Had a good chance there. A great job attacking, getting down into the box and capitalizing on that play by McGrath. Yeah, it was a good chance. Got a good pass by Mwape. Unfortunately, he couldn't finish the goal. And Barnes seems as though he may have learned a lesson from back in the 30-minute mark when Marcus Nagelstad tried to sail it over his head. Yeah, that's very true. We've entered the two minutes of added time here as the first 45 of this first half have elapsed on 11 and FIFA Plus. Barnes. Sent right back by Anatoly. Detroit Gold Star won't have it on their end for long either. Cleared. Down over the touchline on the far side of the pitch. Chattanooga with a throw in coming. Chattahooligans are fired up here this afternoon, enjoying the sunshine, the band going at it. What a great fan base. Yeah, that's it. The Chattanooga fans, they are unbelievable. They are big supporters for this team. They are a big part of the team. I know Chattanooga doesn't play with just 11. They play with 12. Here we go. Nearly had the tackle. Nagelstad trying to get it to Gray. Tied up and going down to the pitch. That's a great change, Chattanooga, right now. The official comes to sort this one out. I think that's the right play by Gold Star. You got to get scrappy right there and keep Nagelstad, the golden boot winner, from having that wide open chance. Yeah, he scored some free kicks last season. Uh, hopefully, he scored this one right now. Wape and Nagelstad standing back just a few feet beyond the top of the 18. The gusty wind giving them trouble as you can see a towel making its way down towards the box in the center of your screen. 45 mile an hour wind gust here today in the scenic city. Nagelstad and Wape. This one's more for Marcus. From the top of the 18, he fires off the top of the crossbar again. His second today, Jungwoo inside, Taylor Gray. Gray looking to get something over his shoulder. It's loose in traffic, headed at. Wape gathers it momentarily on the edge of the box. Great defensive effort by Detroit Gold Star right there. And that's over first half. That'll end the added time. It's 1-0 Chattanooga Football Club here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Back on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus, it's Nisa League Soccer here. Chattanooga FC, Gold Star Detroit FC, their first ever match. They trail 1-0.
to the boys in blue. A, a great contest so far here this very windy, sunny afternoon in the scenic city. Gabriel Shry here alongside 2018 Golden Boot Award winner Joe Acosta. Thank you for being with us. Joe, what a great game. It was a good game. Uh, CFC has a good start. First game of the season. 1-0 uh, now, now right now. Uh, hope we can score some more goals. We see what they're going to bring for the second half. Chances down the stretch for Chattanooga Football Club. Of course, the first score came from Wape, who headered one in, able to finesse it through traffic. That made it 1 0. Then a few close scoring chances, too, by Nagelstad. Marcus sailed one down the field over the head of the netminder and was just wide right. Barnes was too far out. Yeah, Marcus is trying. Uh, you can see he's coming. Just have to a little bit more patient, and uh, the goal is going to come for soon. Barnes has been peppered here through the first half of play. I'm sure he's hoping the tides will turn, or maybe the better analogy is the winds will shift in this second half of action as they have changed ends of the turf. Gene Antoine now down to your right, as you can see him there wearing the yellow jersey on screen. Brandon Barnes will be on the left end wearing all orange. Detroit Gold Star. Sending this back to Barnes. Barnes was peppered throughout the course of that first half. When you're facing so many shots and not getting a ton of help, what do you say in the halftime break to your keeper? Just keep up because uh, you, you need to be sharp because you can't come any time. You, know? you can't just let it go and think like, oh, we're not going to shot again. I mean, the game has changed. It's soccer. You, know? you never know what they're going to bring for the second half. It's a brand new game right now. Our cause of the match here today, Ronald McDonald House Charities of Chattanooga. It was great speaking with them. Everybody knows what Ronald McDonald House is. You've heard of it. Tied to one of the strongest brands in all of business worldwide. They provide housing to people in the hospital. Here's the free kick. Down inside. Scoring chance for Chattanooga FC near the goal line. Nearly lost. Boys in blue circle back. Detroit Gold Star feeling the heat. Centered up and cleared away from the box by Detroit. Detroit on sides in the attacking side, and now Richard Dixon with the tackle. Really good goal from Dixon, man. The throw in. Detroit Gold Star working with it on the close end of the pitch. Lucky bounce through the legs of Dixon near the goal line. Taylor Gray has possession on the close touch line. Chattanooga taking their time clearing this one out. Dixon. Pressure coming from behind. Long pass to Jungwoo. CFC trying to deke around the defender here all the way up to the center circle. McGrath nearly had it taken away right there. Daniel Wright gets a foot on it. Now Wright with possession. Roddy Green, the former boy in blue right there, sails it towards the center of the pitch. Green, a big collision right there. Goes down near the center circle, slow to rise. Richard Dixon will help him to his feet. He appears to be all right. Green's a really good player, but he hasn't shown much today. Roddy Green with a takeaway. Won't keep it for very long. Chattanooga FC all over that as sliding and going out of play. Right there, Cameron Schneider was trying to take it away from Joseph Perez. Perez will maintain possession for CFC. The throw in to Taylor Gray. Filtering through traffic, finding its way 
across to the far end of the pinch. Pass inside. On the edge of the top of the 18, back and forth. Detroit Gold Star comes away with it. Good tackle. Another man down on the pitch, McGrath takes a tumble. Four Gold Star players arguing their case and the yellow card will be assessed. That's the yellow card for Cameroon, captain of Gold Star. Schneider picks up the yellow card. Here comes the kick. McGrath leaves it. Centered to Taylor Gray. Gray pops it up and Barnes will come under that one, scooping it with both arms. Long pass through the center line. Roddy Green had it sent away defensively by Perez. Taylor Gray with possession. Chattanooga Football Club. Working this back on the defensive end, just outside of their box. Gray to the corner. Here's the centering kick, and Barnes again coming out to greet that with both palms. We talked to Coach Lubanski down on the pitch prior to this contest. He told us that they had seen 500 players throughout the course of their scouting work for Detroit Gold Star. What do you think of this roster, John? It's pretty good roster. It's pretty good roster. Uh, you can see a lot of experienced players player that played in the different divisions before. Uh, of course, they they still in the process to find more players in the as like CFC too. You know, every every year. The teams want to try to find the best player they can. And uh, I'm sure the Golden Star will get more players soon, too, and uh, bring more experience and more quality for the team. Chattanooga will throw in from the far touch line. That's Jung Woo. Anatoly got us underway now to Perez. Perez into the center third of the pitch. Dixon being pursued from behind, being harassed, and he tumbles down. Junior Rosero right behind him there. One late addition to the Chattanooga roster is Garcia Sosa. And Sosa has flashed his speed and ability with his footwork here today. Yeah, he is a really good player. I mean, he's been showing uh, since the preseason star, like what he's capable of. And he's been showing the field right now too. Chattanooga with a kick there. Fed down along the edge of the box, just couldn't quite handle that. McGrath. Wanted to turn up the pitch. Wape being harassed by Roddy Green. Taylor Gray back to Wape. He's able to fit it in. Score! Chattanooga Football Club leads 2-0 in the 53rd minute. What a goal from Wape, man. What a great pass. Wape, two goals in the home opener for Chattanooga Football Club. What a way to start his campaign in 2023. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this guy, this player is unbelievable. He's a really good player. He's very smart. He's very quick. He knows what he's doing, and he's showing right now. Second goal of the game. His first goal came back in the 26th minute. It made it one to nothing, which is 
where our score stood all the way here until minute 53 in this game of the week for the Nisa League on 11 and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Joe Acosta where it's 2-0 Chattanooga Football Club. We are in the scenic city here in southeast Tennessee. A beautiful day for professional soccer. The sun shining, 75 degrees. The only complaint really is the wind gusts, which are out of control at 45 miles per hour, but they really haven't played as much of an impact as we had maybe thought. Yeah, the Chattanooga is trying to get the ball more on the ground, so don't have the ball very high, so the wind won't, won't interfere on the, on the change of the ball. And right now, we've been, with the ball on the ground is being very easy to see and uh, deal with the game. Our CFC goals today presented by Rodigio Grill downtown. Text GOAL to 423-445-1002 for a chance to win a complimentary full Rodigio. Might have to get that hook up for myself. Have you been? Oh, I've been many oh, times. It's the best. This is Brazilian Rodizio, man. It's unbelievable. Roddy Green comes away from the center line with it. Kind of an awkward pause in the action there. I think he thought he had the call as CFC takes it away and centers it up to Antoine. Roddy Green listed on the NISA official broadcast roster as a Spring Arbor University alum. Obviously played here for Chattanooga FC last season. Well regarded by the fans. One thing we talked to Rod Underwood and the director of communications for the club here about before the contest is how much the fans in the scenic city absolutely love Chattanooga FC. And it's something that I noticed right away when I moved here a few years ago. It's something that Rod Underwood brought up on ESPN this week during his interview. What do you think as a former player and somebody who is so successful for this franchise, what is the fan support like? Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, these fans are unbelievable. They help you so much when you're in the field. Uh, a lot of people ask us if uh, we can hear the fans on the stands, and we definitely can. Um, those fans, Chattanooga Football Club fans, we can definitely hear them when you're in the pitch. Detroit, obviously, a soccer city as well. This is the third professional club added to that area in the last couple of years. They're going to build a 5,000-seat professional stadium in conjunction with Madonna University, which is also in downtown Detroit, Michigan. I can't wait to see them play their first home game. That'll be on June 24th. Until then, on the road, could be a chance here. Sailed on it. Gene Antoine did not look panicked. He allowed only five goals last season. Fifty-seven minutes and change has elapsed here in the scenic city. It's two nothing Chattanooga Football Club on eleven and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry here with Joe Acosta. Thank you for tuning in. Taylor Gray, long feed across the center line, being chased from behind by Rugova. On the edge of the 18, here's the feed to Taylor Gray. Gray got a touch on it, and it sails over the top of the netting. Gray pass by Mwapi, man. Unfortunately, Gray couldn't finish his ball. If it was a one touch, it probably would be more effective. Upcoming schedule for Detroit Gold Star. They play Detroit City FC this week, just three days from now. That's an intense contest. Yeah, it's going to be a good match. Following that, they'll have a four-day break before they travel to Savannah, Georgia to battle the Clovers. That's a long trip. It is. It's going to be a long trip for them, and they're going to be playing... Most of the first game is out of way. And then a week break before they'll battle crosstown rivals Michigan Stars FC in Livonia, Michigan. Not very far from Detroit at all. That will be on the 14th. Upcoming for Chattanooga FC, Des Moines Menace. That'll be this week on the 5th. 
then Elby and San Diego. That'll be on the 16th, so they'll have an 11-day break. Those are both road contests. Then we'll have all the action on the 22nd when Chattanooga FC host Flower City Union. 2-0 now for the hometown boys in blue, playing host to the Golden Stars of Detroit. Taylor Gray along the touchline. Gray with a move, lost it along the top of the 18. Roddy Green trying to clear this one. Delu lets it slip past. Jungwoo through the center of the pitch, tried to feed it back door. Barnes was there. I think Jungwoo was looking to hook up with Nagelstad. Yeah, they always look for Marcus. I mean, he's a strong player. He can hold this ball up front anytime he want it. Nagelstad piling up the goals last season for CFC. 19 scores. Golden boot winner. It's unbelievable how many goals he scored. This Chattanooga football club, very complete roster, feels full and deep. Six players named the NISA best 11 last season, including Nagelstad, Gray, McGrath, and Dixon. Martinez and Cerro as well, they've both moved on since. Salah and Cisse checking into the match for Detroit Gold Star. Perez with the throw in here. They're on the attacking end. Into the box and now cleared away by Detroit. Antoine comes out to greet this one. Anatoly controls it over to Bowers, comes back to him. Detroit trying to force some action here. Around the defender to Perez. Perez. Feeds it to Gray along the goal line. The centering pass and header. PK. This one stopped by Detroit Gold Star and the PK coming. Yeah, he caught handball, the center back. Marcus with the headache. Marcus Nagelstad parked down inside. A pair of defenders there. And at some point, the official says, a hand on the ball. Yeah, he interfered the ball that was going towards the goal. So Brandon he, Barnes obviously not happy about that call, and how could you be? I wouldn't be either. It's a change for Marcus to score his first goal of the season if he's the one taking. Schneider, Paloma arguing with the official here. Looks like it'll stand. Barnes retreats to the pipes. Taylor Gray hands it off to Marcus Nagelstad the beloved son of the scenic city. Nagelstad standing on the edge of the top of the 18. Fires wide right and it finds the back of the net. Three nothing Chattanooga Football Club. Marcus Nagelstad, goal number one of 2023 looking to have another successful campaign. Hopefully first of the many goals that Mike's going to score this year. He's already threatened to score three times here today, but on the PK, he buries it. Yeah, he's a specialist in the PKs. He scored a few goals in the PKs last year too, and these years won't be different. That one gets the home crowd going. If there's a home crowd advantage to be had in Nisa League soccer, it's Chattanooga and the Chattahooligans. They make a lot of noise with that band. Yeah, he, they can help with the, the, the CFC and they definitely can, can cause a lot of problems for the other team. 
We just have a substitution here. Garcia sources out. On the close side with it, there is Sala. Ramirez centered it up for Detroit Gold Star. Back to Sala, that one out of his reach. I think he might have been a little caught up in Perez in his face. Finds its way over the touchline and Perez will put us back underway with a throw in. Gene Antoine has to be happy with his performance here today. He's really not seen much action at all. That's the best part for a goalkeeper when you know we don't tell him on the name a lot of times. So you see the game is managed from the team, from the CFC. That was a long pass by the boys in blue, taken away by the Golden Stars. Sala pursued from behind. Loose for a moment, comes back to him. Detroit, long feed intercepted by Jungwoo. Mwape tried to give it back to him. It finds its way up into the front of the bleachers. Detroit in the middle third, working with the ball offensively. A full reset. Joe, I'd say there's nothing quite like being at a Nisa League contest in person, wouldn't you? No. Just a reminder, you can be here for the next home game for Chattanooga Football Club on the 22nd. To purchase tickets, visit ChattanoogaFC.com. Click on the Tickets tab located in the top navigation bar. You can also buy tickets in person at the CFC store, 1826 Carter Street in Chattanooga, or to purchase season tickets or skyboxes, contact the CFC ticket office at 423-708-GOAL. You can see now, too, this year they add some uh, seats on the field. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Like, it would be nice to be very close to the players. So if you want to buy a ticket that we get close to the players, you have the chance this year. Now, if you couldn't have guessed, I'm a skybox man. Yeah. <laughs> the cross backside, it was well wide of the net, but Barnes comes out, greets it, and completely eliminates the threat anyhow. Detroit in the defensive end. They trail 3-0. We are nearing the 67th minute of play here in Chattanooga. CFC leading big. Two goals from Wape. The first back in minute 26. The second in minute 53. And of course, Marcus Nagelstad on the PK. Scoring it in minute 63, just four minutes ago for those of you just joining us. Here on 11 and FIFA Plus, we appreciate you tuning in. Gabriel Shry, Joe Acosta. First game of the season here for both of these clubs. First game ever for Detroit Gold Star FC as Sela is trying to get a scoring chance going for them. Detroit firing, it goes wide left. Defender there bringing the heat. Anatoly was too much to bear. Chattanooga now needs to manage the game, keep the score 3-0 if it's possible to score more. But right now it's not time to rush or anything. Joe, I was getting worried about the turnout here today. We were about 15 minutes from opening kickoff, and there was maybe 500 people in the stands. I was starting to sweat. I was like, oh, no, it's not looking good. It's not going to be a big turnout for the home opener. There must be 5,000 fans here. Is that too much? Am I speculating too hard? Uh, we can say something around that, 4,000, 5,000 fans. I mean, even a few minutes before the game, we didn't see many fans, but... They always come in the late. They've trickled in. Great turnout. Band is loud. Fun environment here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Nisa League Soccer, the game of the week here. Taylor Gray gets the boys in blue started. The intercept made down inside. Great play defensively by Detroit. Trying to string together a couple of passes and coming back to the man who made that intercept just a moment ago. He goes to right. Wright has Salah alongside him. That's who he's going to scoop it to. Taylor Gray bringing the pressure and now the whistle.
right. Defended by Perez, gets around him. Detroit trying for the centering pass. Ball is loose and another whistle as one of the boys in blue slow to rise here. Not the yellow card for the Golden Star. Number six. Ramirez. That's Derek Ramirez, yeah, that gets the yellow card there. Joel, one of the big offensive threats for the Gold Stars this season is Rosero. He was the number one goal scorer in the UPSL last season. Signed to Detroit Gold Star FC. Somebody we haven't seen make a lot of noise here early, which surprises me. I thought we'd hear from him in the first half of play. Well, it's the first game of the season. Uh, pretty sure they still not trying to know each other. You can see they have a lot of problems in, uh, in attacking. Let's see the game. Taylor Gray centered it and the feed down low was off the mark sailed over the goal line ball goes back to Detroit it'll be a good moment to see Damien on the field right now don't you think it would be a good time that's somebody you're familiar with you've played against him multiple times a local guy yes Damien is a He's a local player from here, from uh, Dalton, and uh, he's been from the academy. And uh, he's have a lot of potential. Uh, you, you can see him's gonna be very far from, from a soccer career. Dalton, Georgia, just a half hour down I-75 here in the center of the southeastern United States. So he's very local to this region. Played for the high school there, which perennially has a fantastic high school soccer program. They're always competing in the state of Georgia's high school soccer playoffs. Damian Rodriguez, a key piece of that high school soccer program, and he's been a fan favorite the entire time he's been with CFC. Yeah, Dam is a, is a big deal for Chattanooga. He's a, he's a player that, he's a young player that we want to see him going far and the uh, trying to, the, the, he's going to do the best on his career, the soccer career. And uh, he starts some games. Will you? Could be a chance here as this one sails wide up and onto the concourse all the way up into that Chattanooga power C. Damian Rodriguez, I'll tell you one thing I think that the club loves about him, and I certainly love about him as somebody who's just a nerd about sports and stats and seeing development. Guys' careers go well. Rodriguez is just another piece of the puzzle, another piece of proof that the CFC development program works. Well, yeah, for sure. You, you can see the academy, CFC academy. They have a lot of good, a good coaches, a lot of good administration, and uh, they have a lot of talents players, too. Is Damien one of them. Taylor Gray taking his time, digging about this one. Along the flank into the close corner. Perez back to Gray, defended by Sala here. Centered up to Dixon, Dixon to Mwape. Mwape double teamed right there, splits the difference. Pass to the close side of the box, Taylor Gray the cross, Barnes comes way out and swats that one away. Brandon Barnes with a heads up play there, eliminating the threat, able to clear it momentarily. And here he comes, Damien, coming to the game soon. Coach Red call his name. Looks like we have a card on that far side as well. against Jung Woo So. Right. Gathers up the football on the close side through the center line. What a play offensively. Digging his way through traffic. Great footwork. But in the end, Chattanooga takes this one away. They're back to work. 
in the defensive end, setting up carefully. Chan is not trying to rush anymore. He's trying to manage the game. Long pass coming to the close end is stripped away by Detroit. Lots of traffic there paid off for them. Could be a chance here for Detroit Gold Star. Pass inside. Rugova has it taken away as it's sent up into row F. We have two substitutions coming up on CFC. Number 17, Juan Luis and uh, Damian Rodriguez. Also, two substitutions for Golden Star. Hunter Gibbons. Trying to hand signal here. Joe, I thought I was telling him to wait. I meant five. I'm sorry. <laughs> 75 minutes gone. It's 3 0 here on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Gabriel Shry, Joe Acosta. We've enjoyed a beautiful day of soccer here today. The NISA opener, game of the week this week. How much fun has this been? It's been very fun, man. I mean, it's a great weather. A little bit of wind, but it's not interfering much in the game. You see a beautiful game. 3 0 Chattanooga right now. And the man of the game for me right now is Mwap is coming out. Wape getting a well deserved break. Two goals here today. His first in the 26th minute. It was a header that was able to ladle its way through traffic. Then a score in the 53rd minute, or a third goal came in the 63rd minute. Nagelstad able to get one on the PK. They're both goal scorers in the game. He's coming out in the game now. Juan checks in. He's wearing number 17. Detroit to Sala. Trying to finesse his way through traffic here. Good combination. Damian Rodriguez checked into the contest as well. We were talking about him a moment ago, a local favorite. Grew up about 45 minutes from here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in Dalton, Georgia. Detroit Gold Star on sides. Here's a pass down into the box, knifing away at it. Somehow CFC with it for the moment, and they'll just send this back to Antoine, who clears it. That'll sail up into row D. Chattanooga Football Club, lots of changes and advances made in the front office for this club. A, a few leaders have graduated, some new faces in place, and a lot of expansion. That's something they're proud of. Here's a pass inside, and now play stopped as there's a collision on the edge of the six. Yeah, Damien was a little bit offside this time. Chattanooga still created some change. I like that. They haven't stopped yet. They still want more and more. Detroit skying this one to the close end of the pitch. Right able to keep it in play. Being harassed immediately there by Juan. Right. Down into the attacking end, along the box, fires, it goes wide left. Had a head of steam on him. Good play by Daniel. Gene Antoine, the one who will put us back underway here. The keeper for Chattanooga FC.
Gray went to Rodriguez. Dixon sending this up the turf. Quick move there by Juan. Juan into the box, heavily defended, looking inside, tried to pass it on the cross. And it finds its way over the goal line as he collides with the defender. Damian Rodriguez with a Food City corner kick. Closing in on her 80th minute here in Finley Stadium to Perez. Perez being chased from behind. Tried to feed it down low. Chattanooga FC does get the football back. Dixon to McGrath. Rodriguez, battled by Wright, loses the football momentarily. Sal is right there, Detroit Gold Star, takes it away, their pass is intercepted. Here comes Jungwoo. Jungwoo tried to pass it down inside, again cut off by Wright. Sal will keep it just in the touchline as he crosses the center stripe. Two passes on the far end of the field here. Detroit. Centered it up through the center circle. Back to right on the close end. Biding their time. Double teamed in trouble. Help coming. A third defender and now the whistle. It's going to be a good chance for Golden Star. Try to score their first goal of the game. Mabrook there was waiting for the pass and just too tied up. Colling Stripling is about to come on the game. Kim Schneider, Mabrook Sala right there. This kick, you said it first, is going to be a quality chance for Detroit Gold Star. Their first ever contest here. On the road, eight hour, 45 minute drive. 95 minute flight for a lot of the fans who went gate to gate from Detroit to Chattanooga. I love our airport here, by the way. Chattanooga International Airport. Alex McGrath is out of the game right now. Ethan Corrin checking into the contest. As McGrath will earn a well-deserved break. Here comes the kick. Mabrook Sala wearing 70. He's at the bottom along the line exactly. Schneider leaves it. Sala fires. This one is high. Antoine was there anyhow. I'm not sure if he brushed that with his fingertips or not. It was not going to find Twine. Seems like he just managed to leave the ball. This one over the touchline. It's 3 0 here in the 83rd minute on 11 Sports and FIFA Plus. Two goals by Nwape, who has taken his seat on the bench. Had a great day. Scored in the 26th and the 53rd minute. And Nagelstad scored in the 63rd. He's also gone to the bench to take a load off. That's a great way to start the season. How much momentum does that give Nwape? It's a great side for Nwape. He's a great player. He's going to help Chattanooga a lot this year. Joe, you've seen so many great soccer players in your career professionally, growing up, obviously watching soccer. As far as quality of roster goes, how would you evaluate Chattanooga this season? 
Oh, they're solid. Chattanooga uh, Ross is solid this year. They have a new players this year. They have some experience like the Dixon, Marcus, you know, uh, Mwape is a young guy, but he's been playing soccer for a long time too with the big clubs. Now, the Chattanooga there's, it has everything to go far this year in the season. Couple of quick possession changes across the center line. Over to Perez. Perez had it for only a moment. CFC back to the defensive end. Dixon teed that up. Comes right back to him. Long pass finds its way over the touch line. Right near the center of the pitch. We're coming up on the 85th minute as Delu tosses this one in. Over to right. Right skying this ball to the back end of the pitch and it goes into the VIP seating. Two cities with rivers, obviously the Tennessee River right here in Chattanooga. Goes all the way to the ocean, the Detroit River. It's one of the only cities in America to have their own island park, Belle Isle, which is larger than New York City's Central Park. Fun fact about Detroit. Chattanooga with a throw in. Dixon. Took a swing at that one. Now Taylor Gray alongside the edge of the pitch. Gold star right there. Able to battle this one. Get it up along that brick. Lob Sigger. Forcing CFC to make the throw in. We're into the 86th minute where it's 3-0 Chattanooga Football Club. A war for this one in the corner. This one finds its way out. It'll go to Detroit Gold Star. Lob Sigger with a throw in. Sails up towards the center of the pitch. Or it's gathered by CFC. Chat over to Perez. Coming up to greet them and bringing the heat. Ramirez around traffic, trying to pass it inside. Wright goes back and gathers up the football. Took him a little bit too long to get this pass to Juan. Joe, we thought we might see Alec Reddington get the start here today for Gold Star, but Brandon Carnes. Makes a save right there. Obviously, he's been the starter here today, and Barnes has been very effective. How do you think he'll develop throughout the course of the season? Do you think that's somebody they're going to stick with or they're just trying for a game? Uh, it changed every single game. You know, It's the first game of the season. Uh, Alec is a really good keep good keeper. Uh, we couldn't see much about the, the Barnes today. You know, he, he scored three goals, but none of them was his fault. So uh, Alec just have to... Keep his heads up and like practicing, like try to improve even more and like fight for his position on the first team. We're crossing into the 88th minute. It is 3 0 Chattanooga Football Club here on 11 and FIFA Plus. Pass to Richard Dixon. Dixon. The header into the middle third. Coming out to greet this. Gold star. There's a howitzer. Goes wide right. Gold star start a little bit high pressure in the end of the game right now. Giving Chattanooga a little bit of pressure. That long shot from Cameron Schneider. Antoine had eyes for it though. Gene Antoine with a long ball. Knifing at it, Detroit Gold Stars. 
Can't come away with possession as Perez clears this into the attacking end for CFC. Lots of contact, Taylor Gray being grabbed at from the side by Sissy. That was his locked out. Taylor Gray not happy with the call right there. That yeah, was a bad call for the, the happy right now. Yaya gets us back underway. Went to Schneider. Schneider to the far end of the pitch. Gold Stars into that middle third. We've nearly reached full time. No word yet on what our added time will be here. I think you're going to have one minute extra time. There you have it. You've per correctly predicted. Chattanooga FC down into the box. Trying to center it up. Yaya sends it up into the bleachers. Added time to the second half of play. Need more time for your business? Contact HHM for all of your accounting needs. They can add time to your business. You can see all the fans now standing, supporting the Chattanooga Football Club last minutes of the game. The throw in will only stay in play for a fraction of a second here. This added minute winding quickly. Well, a great start for Detroit Gold Star. This is a, a tough club to have to open your first ever game against. They've done very well. Yeah, they've been doing good. Chattanooga. Centered up, Richard Dixon. Dixon back along the touchline. Detroit Schneider working with it for a moment, trying to burn away this last 60 seconds. Chattanooga has a bit of a chance here. Battling with it. Came away with the football for a moment before the Gold Stars were able to clear that. And so our final tally here in the scenic city, Chattanooga Football Club wins 3-0 in the NISA game of the week for week number one. Joe, what an excellent contest. Walk me through your thoughts on what we saw here today from these two clubs. That's a great start for Chattanooga, man. 3-0 at home. It's nothing better than start with a winning. Chattanooga has a long way to go, but you can see that they're going to be strong this year. Today's scoring, Wape had two goals, his first in the 26th minute. It was a header, his second in the 53rd minute. Then Nagelstad on the PK, able to bury one. That came in minute 63. Those two... Got a break, rode the rest of the match out on the bench till we reached full time, 3-0, the final score here between Detroit Gold Star FC and Chattanooga Football Club. Coming up next, Chattanooga will be on the road. They'll travel to Des Moines, Iowa to take on the Menace. You can watch that contest here on 11 Sports, FIFA Plus, or buy tickets on the website of the Menace. That's a very winnable ball game for CFC. The number one advantage probably for the Menace is the weather. Can you imagine living down here in the warm weather and traveling up north? You've probably done that yourself. Yeah, it's not easy, man. You come with a cold right there in, the, in the Detroit and you come into this heat now. I mean, of course, it's affecting the player's performance, but that's, that's no excuses, you know. You come to play, you need to be ready for it. In Chattanooga show, how they're ready to go to play and get started the season well. Absolutely, it's a two game road stint for CFC, then they'll travel to Albion, San Diego on the 16th and be back here at home to play Flower City Union on the 22nd. We'll have all of that action as well. Next for Detroit Gold Star Football Club, a tough match coming up this week on the 4th against Detroit City FC. How do you prepare for a match like that, your second ever as a club? It doesn't, there's not much you can do. You need to go to practice and train and uh, be ready for what's coming up. You know, Detroit City is a is a big team. There's a big fans like the Chattanooga Football Club. It won't be easy, I can tell you that. And obviously still in the process of building their home stadium, so they'll be on the road on the 8th against the Savannah Clovers and again on the 14th as they travel to Livonia to battle Michigan Stars FC. So a lot of great contests coming up. Again, the final score.
score here. Three nothing on 11 and FIFA Plus. For CFC, Detroit Gold Star, our entire crew as well as my partner, Joe Acosta. I'm Gabriel Shry saying so long from Chattanooga, Tennessee. This has been Nisa League Soccer. All games and events airing on the 11 Sports Networks are streamed live and copyright material. This has been a presentation of 11 Sports.